Taurus. Taurus. They will not ignore us. What's up, y'all? It is Scorpion Race Tarot. Y'all see my Wonder Woman. Y'all see my precious. My baby boo, my boo thing. Hey, boo. Is you listen? Let me tell y'all something. I got a song on my heart. You want to hear it? Here it go. <laughs> Lord, let this come on out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, hey. Now that love's taking over. I'm a hundred percent sure that it's here to stay. I ain't got no issues standing in my way. I ain't gonna know it, and you ain't gonna know it. So, yes, let's make it official. Cause we ain't getting no younger, baby. And I'm ready to be with you. <laughs> oh my god, that's all I'm giving you right now. <laughs> that's all I'm giving you right now, okay? Let's make it official. Cause we ain't getting no younger, baby. And I'm ready to be with you. Y'all, somebody is feeling like that about my Taurus. They will not ignore us. Not no more, baby. We are some Wonder Woman, baby. Hold on. You see the W on our chest? What? Say winning. Winning. You guys, I don't even know where that energy came from. I, right before I started to record, I walked past my dresser. And I had to address her. Girl, something said... She got to go on a Taurus reading. And then this song just popped in my head. Like, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, y'all. Um, excuse me. Can you remove yourself? Thank you very much. I'm sorry. That's my child. Remove yourself and close my door. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Have a Feliz Navidad and a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate you. Anyway. Excuse the interruption. I was all in my judge. He just coming in here, stepping on stuff and just doing like what, 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 what? Look, you see how people be trying to distract us, okay? I'm trying to get my vocal practice going on, don't you know? Come on now. <laughs> y'all, how the rest of that song go, y'all? Oh my God, why am I, why the chorus, I cannot, the chorus is not in my head, man. It's just, that's the only part. That is just in my soul right now. I feel like on a high level. Bitch. God damn it. Okay. Why are they trying to distract us? When we trying to get practice to accept our blessings. Because someone is trying to marry us. Okay. Someone is trying to marry y'all. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying, Taurus? We're not playing. I don't know what's about to come out in these cards, baby. I'm just giving you pre before I touch these cards energy because I ain't touch a card. I ain't do no pre shuffle. I ain't did nothing. Nathan Nathaniel. I just know <laughs> Daniel, you are the one. Daniel son, you are the one. Baby, you see how she's sitting back smiling? Doing her do you see how your energy is? Do you see this? Oh my goodness. Hold on, this song keep trying to come in my head, but it keep leaving me. It keeps leaving Y'all, I swear to God, if one more person send me a message I'm going, I'm going to throw my watch. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. Listen, y'all. Oh, oh, it keep coming in my head and it keep leaving. Y'all going to kill me because y'all like, bitch, get to the reading. Um, anyway, so I just got to hug her because I'm just really feeling her energy right now. And I'm just, like, she is just, she's giving me everything that I need right now for this energy and this reading. And I don't know if y'all have one of these cute little snuggly bears. I don't know where my kids got this from. But I love her, and she loved me, and she loved y'all. And I want y'all to know that y'all are going to be smiling, just like my Wonder Woman, okay? And y'all are Wonder Woman on my Taurus lady that y'all been out there being strong. Y'all been holding on. You been standing on your ground. You have not been getting off your throne, okay? Y'all have not got the hell off y'all throne. Y'all know y'all worth. Y'all know what y'all have been fighting for. And you will not be distracted. Like, you are not being distracted from nothing that you've been trying to call into your blessings. Let me hold on to her as we go into this reading. 
listen, I ain't even do my intro. Listen, if y'all want to book a personal private read and all that stuff, if you want to support and all that stuff, all that, all the links is in the about tab. I gotta go in. Father God, thank you so much for just being there with my Tauruses. Ever since 2018, we have been cleaning up shop. We've been cleaning up house, Father God. We told you, we said it, and we meant it when we said that this year was going to be the takeover because the wait is over, God. Thank you so much for keeping the pressure on us. Because you know what? There's a lot of people that complain about the Man, Taurus ain't complaining about no pressure. Because Taurus understand what you're doing. <laughs> Taurus understand what you're doing. And it's like, still I rise and I smile through it all, Father God. And thank you for just making us strong that way. Just like that bold energy like we are not playing we are taking back everything that is ours and that is our happiness that is our joy that is the fun that is the prosperity that is the abundance mind body heart and soul our best story has yet to be told listen this is the beginning of the best part of your life do y'all feel that like i just i don't know if y'all are feeling what i'm feeling right now y'all November is going to be a month to remember. And I know that we're doing this energy for October. Um, it's something about November, y'all. Y'all almost make me want to, like, pull out some tea leaf cards or something. Like, you know, I, I just, like, I'm excited about October through November. It's some, It's like, I feel like amazing stuff. And I'm seeing love, emotions, happiness, comfort. Like, that's what I'm seeing on my wall. That's where my eyes... Like, y'all, I just... Listen, I'm just telling y'all, some amazing shit is about to happen. I want y'all to buckle y'all seatbelts because I don't think that y'all are even prepared for this explosion of just blessings and love that is about... To, like, y'all going to be... Have y'all ever been in a situation where y'all been smiling so fucking hard? Like, your cheeks are burning? Like, like has anyone ever poured so much love on you so much where you are blushing so bad? Like, your cheeks are burning. Like, you can't even stop smiling. you like, nigga, stop. Like, because for real, my face is, like, every muscle in my face is being utilized right now. And I need you to chill out because I don't think I've ever smiled so much. Have you ever woke up just how miraculously how your life, the change of events, how you could have went from a, a point in your life where... You felt like there was no love, that there was all of this chaos around you too, just like that. Like that, just by shifting your energy, your paradigm, changing, you rearranging you, and it attract. Now I'm seeing cycles, completion, political, confident, open-minded. Yo, I listen. That's the number nine, y'all. Y'all have completed a cycle. Y'all have completed a cycle. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, listen, Father God, let's just... I thank you so... If y'all... It, 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 one, one more time, I swear. <laughs> I'ma throw, I'm throw it. I'ma throw it. Listen. <laughs> Father God, give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Tauruses for October. I thank you so much for these blessings that are coming into them because I feel it. I feel it so deeply in my heart and my soul. And um, where, where's my bell? Where's my bell? Hold on. We gonna ring forth these blessings. We gonna ring forth these blessings we calling it. And it take my food. My <laughs> Hold on. Cause I, I, now I gotta clean my chakras. I gotta clean myself. Because I'm trying to stay in the energy, Father God, and they irritating me right now, Father. Clean, clean, look, Jesus, <laughs> we are we are claiming it. We're accepting all blessings, all blessings, all blessings. And you know what? God just told me I'm getting frustrated. Because I'm trying to talk to y'all and I'm trying to stay in this energy. It, bitch. 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 
Bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? What that means for y'all is y'all are going to have a lot of communication. It's going to be a lot of energy. It's going to be a lot of messages coming into y'all like that. Whoever y'all going to be communicating with is going to be putting y'all smile on your face. It's going to be irritating. Look, it's irritating me. It's probably not going to be irritating you, but bitch. Let me click. I'm sorry, y'all, because listen, y'all, y'all listen. I can't, Father, click, click, get me together, because, oh, my Jesus. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, but, 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 but. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get you. <laughs> we accepting all blessings. All blessings. All forms of communication. Because, Lord, that's, that, that was a lot. And I don't even know what the hell that was about. I will find out afterwards. But that's confirmation for you. A lot is going to be coming in for y'all. Because I have never had my fucking watch going off like that ever in my damn life. And I'm sitting up here squeezing the pillow. Okay. Feeling blessed and anointed. And like, boom, 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 boom. Listen, that has to be God sending y'all messages, letting you know. What I'm feeling right now is, is indeed a confirmation. That was a confirmation. So y'all excuse me for, <laughs> for being irritated and annoyed by all of that. But that was more for you than for me. It's a confirmation in this energy that I've been feeling. So Father God, thank you so much. We accept it all. We accept it all. And we thank you so much, Father God. So let's get into this energy for October for my Taurus Lord Jesus and you know my saying for y'all Taurus they will not ignore us that don't look like someone's ignoring you that's like a lot of communication so if y'all have had a blocking communication and seen things slow down honey things about to pick up so fast you want to be after you gonna feel like you in the twilight zone honey you like are you see y'all for me for you <laughs> Give me guidance, Father God. Give me guidance for my tours for October. That is, that I have never in my life. Father, give me guidance. Tell me what's coming in for my babies. For my Tauruses. Shout out to my baby P. Shout out to my baby P. I know you watch me, boo. You ain't got to say nothing. I know you watch me, boo. Shout out to you, baby. Ooh. What is going on? Fiery climax approaches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got here. A balsamic moon. What the hell did that mean? Okay, so this is what we got. It says, bring love into the situation. Aquarius moon. Okay. Bringing love into the situation. It says, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. I see that's that's turbulent water, so pouring love, yo. It's not turbulent waters, cause look, you see how she's pouring love into the situation. Someone is pouring love into the situation, and it's like this is an overflow of water. This is like so much emotions that is like you are being drowned in emotion like drowned in communication of this emotion but nothing is set in stone yet a time for healing the balsamic moon bro and then it says a fiery climax approaches the full moon in Aries. Y'all, I'm 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 serious. Like, it's like, and I, I just heard it's got like y'all gonna be crying. You ever cried so much cause you happy? And like you cry, like have you has something ever happened to you where it was like an overflow of emotions and it's like you can't stop crying because it's like you can't believe <laughs> like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, your emotions are just, like, all over the place. It's just, like, rocking you back and forth. It's just, like, you don't even know if to... It, it, you don't even understand what's going on 
And you don't even know if you want to believe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like y'all just don't believe what's going on right now. It's, been said, it's, it's saying nothing is yet set in stone. Not this month. November. <laughs> let me find out. Let's, let us get into this, y'all. Let's get into this. 38. I have to find out what balsamic moon means. I've never seen that card before. It says, pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. Bitch, then you know what? Do you understand the master play? Bitch, you know what? Okay, let me, let me, mm-mm. Because I'm not about to play with y'all today, okay? However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation are healed, okay? This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insight can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender, okay? Start to work on your belief in your dream so that you are ready when it comes. All right? So if you know that something really isn't good to you, surrender to that. Accept that shit for what it is and focus your energy on where you're trying to go. It says, when one is healed, all are healed. It's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how this situation would look if everyone was healed. Patience is required at this time of the balsamic moon. It is time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare for the new moon, which is just around the corner. No matter which point in the current moon cycle it is, if you pull this card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easy on yourself. It's time to step into your creatrix power and will come soon enough give yourself the time that you need nothing yet is set in stone like someone is pouring love into the situation and maybe you that need to do it too a fiery climax is approaching i'm sorry i'm not trying to be going and reading all of these damn cards but i gotta do what god is telling me to do hold on what's this new moon in aries Okay. Nope. That is not the right card. In the name of Jesus. Can, girl, can you read today? Full moon in Aries. Okay. Okay. It is time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, 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 me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as it could have been done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash, harsh, gone too fast, or overstepped the mark, then accept it on some level that you created the situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this car comes up, a peak is coming. And it could be fiery. Be nice, kind, smile, and be polite as you navigate where you want to be. Be assertive. And being assertive is good. Don't, just don't ride. Hold on. It says just don't ride to rough shot over anyone. You're in a tense situation. Meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. The new moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. On the upside, there is excitement about what may lie ahead. But tempers are likely to flare with rash comments and decisions. No matter when you pull this car, it's a signal that a situation has just or is about to come to peak. Perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay. If you've been too competitive or too blunt. Hmm. Let's see what the hell is going on with this. Let's see what's going on with this. Hmm. Let me get 
guidance in regards to what type of unicorn energy we have for my Taurus for October. Oh, here it is. Can you live with it? Loving me for life to have it home forever. Can we ride or die to death to us part to have it home forever? Can you live with it? Loving me for life to have it home forever. Can we ride or die to death do us part to have it home forever? <laughs> That's the song. That's the song, baby. That's it. Let's see what's going on. Can you live with it? Loving me for life to have and hold forever. Can you ride or die to death do its part to have and hold forever? Hmm. We got two cards abundance and freedom. Oh, oh, hmm. If the song keeps going in my head. Now that love is taking over, I'm 100% sure that you're here to stay. Why am I feeling like, I'm, I'm really feeling like you guys are free to be with the person that you really love. I'm feeling like you are really free to be with the one that you truly love. And it may be, there's a completion to a cycle where you've been, I feel like y'all are moving from one situation right into another. And that's why it's saying nothing is set in stone yet because with this balsamic moon and this full moon in Aries with this fiery climax, I feel like someone is going to get hurt, but it's not you. It's, it's not you. It's not you. It's telling you to bring love into the situation. I feel like you're about to go your own way. And whatever you've been holding on to or you've been treading lightly, I feel like this breakup was imminent. Like y'all know, y'all both know that it was coming to an end. You know, or you, you know what? I'm kind of feeling like, and I'm also feeling that you already been in like a separation. I don't know if this is like a divorce. Finally, I'm getting the energy that this is two people that's in a separation that's leading to a divorce. And I feel like Taurus is already with someone else. Or they've been talking to someone, but they really have not fully given themselves to this new situation because they had to really heal from the turbulence that has been going on in their life since 2018. And you had to be 100% sure that the new person is going to be here to stay. And like this person stuck through it with you through this separation. Say, I'm not going nowhere and you ain't going nowhere. So let's make this official because we ain't getting no younger, baby. And I'm ready to be with you. This is someone that just got their freedom papers, baby. And li listen, but... Everything not set in stone into this divorce or everything. And it, and it might not even be like, y'all might not even be married. But I feel like you guys still had to deal with someone that was still holding on to you. It could be just someone from your past that you have a long history with. It could be um, and someone who just wasn't getting it. And like you kind of still left that door open and y'all was still teeter-tottering. 
until you found this new person. But you guys were transparent with this new person. I'm exiting a situation. Like, I'm, you know, I'm in transition. And I feel like you kept this person as a friend. I really feel like this is someone at your work or someone near your work or something like that. Every day, y'all been growing closer and been, you've been falling deeper and deeper in love with what's over here and what was over there. It's like you've been trying to be humble and pour love into it and not trying to, it's like you've been trying to explain to this person that we have been going through this shit for how many years now? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not getting better. You know what I'm saying? It's not getting better. And I feel like it was like a level of complacency with this old situation. Like, y'all were just used to making up, breaking up, fighting. And and even though things are not yet set in stone, things are not yet set in stone. But, but... Your emotions are like really rocking and rolling over here. So now you really got to take the time and heal this situation. I don't even feel like it's more so for you. Because Taurus has found new love. It's for them. Because they, they're not getting it. So it's like you're trying to smooth things out and be as loving and caring and walk away on you know, mutual standing grounds, like, you good, I'm good. But a fiery climax approaches, and I think y'all know this. Like, y'all y'all know this. Freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Like, this person has to understand that, you know, like, I'm getting the the devil card right now. It's like, and I'm not getting it in a, a, a real negative way, but it's like an addictive pattern. Like, y'all have an addictive cycle, a, a constant cycle. It's just, it's just toxic. Like, y'all know that y'all are not good for each other, but it's like y'all make up the breakup, get back together, same old bullshit every other day, same cycle, just same shit. And just like, if this other person was to allow it, if you was to allow it, this this would keep going on. Someone showed Taurus what a true friendship is. This situation over here started out with a friendship. Y'all were friends first. This relationship was not built on no shaky ground or on a karmic battlefield. This was... And a karmic battlefield to me means off something built off of lust. Like, this wasn't built off of lust. You know what I'm saying? Can you live with it? Loving me for life. Like, I, this person waited for you. Y'all been talking to this person about your relationship that you've been doing. Like, this has been your confidant. Your confidant. I don't even think y'all have had sex with each other or nothing. Like, this person has been really truly respectful of your boundaries and of your situation and <sighs> wow abundance enjoy the bounty of life your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you you guys are trying to bring love into the situation with this aquarius moon you're trying to break up and get this person to really get like no like this time is really done like my i'm not asking you to give me my freedom papers i'm telling you <laughs> i'm releasing myself you know what i'm saying i have i've seen the rainbow i see like i see what god is doing in my life and it's time for me you know to be political like i told you that number nine i'm it's about me being political, me being confident in my, you know, decisions and being open-minded that blessings are coming to me. I just got to receive it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I got to believe it and I can believe that it's had. Like some people, God be trying to give us blessings, but 
we be too busy blocking it because we still be trying to make some shit work that can never be fixed. You know what I'm saying? And then you go back into these situations and it's the same thing all over again. Taurus is, is play that game. They're daring to be happy and they'll never know what it is or if it, you know what I'm saying? If it could really amount to this energy that I'm getting off of this Wonder Woman, you know, even though that's not the Wonder Woman song, that was the Wonder Woman bear. And yes, these are all um, little Mo songs, but like Wonder Woman, like it's like I'm wondering, I'm like Wonder Woman, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you being your own superhero, like you were signing your own freedom papers off of some Harriet Tubman and shit. Like you were leading yourself to freedom and victory and abundance. You're taking a risk. Like you didn't hit the underground railroad. Like you the network. So like you done got your ass away. And you're not going to, and you on this freedom train, like, you are seriously serious about taking your freedom and abundance into your hand. And someone might not like it too much, but you're trying to do your best. Look, the Knight of Wands. Like, the Knight of Wands is the fastest moving knight in the deck. And this person is moving fiery and fast. Fast and furious towards their passions and their desires and, and and this this person has passion for freedom for abundance nothing is isn't set in stone yet but it's like i know what i'm doing i know what's coming my way you know what i'm saying i just gotta heal this situation and if i could walk away with this person feeling confident about the split it's not he this person not gonna cause no problems for me you know like give me guidance give me guidance for my Taurus the two of swords yes like Taurus was not able to in the past Taurus was blinded to the thought that there's something else out there in this universe that is better for them you know it was like clogged thinking unclear thinking you know what i'm saying not able to see not able to believe not able to make a decision the decision has been made Taurus is not being a slave to anything in their past anymore um they're choosing their self they're choosing their self they are balanced they're using their intuition and something inside Taurus is saying that it's time for me to make this transition I can't hold myself back any longer. I got someone that is ready to be with me. And it's everything that I want. So why am I going to sit here and continue trying to fix and work on something that has done nothing but bring me misery and pain? You know what I'm saying? Even though nothing isn't set in stone right now. But I know if I make the right forward actions. Okay, that's a lot. If I make the right forward actions, everything can be set in stone. And this is like marrying your best friend this is like marrying I mean I'm sorry I'm like literally marrying your best friend like y'all laugh with each other y'all joke with each other y'all have good times with each other this person's understands you they understand everything that you've been through when you come to work this person off rip knows something wrong and does everything in their ability to comfort you and make you know that you deserve better and that there are better days ahead of you. You just gotta wipe your tears and believe like this person has seen you going through this shit with this person for a long time and they've always been there for you. And it's like, how did I know, how did my true soulmate, my true love, my true divine life partner has been in front of my face this whole time and I've been fighting to stay committed and find emotional happiness in a situation that was not beneficial to me. And now I'm daring to be happy. I'm daring to be happy. Can you live with the love of me for life to have and hold forever? Can you ride or die to death do its part to have and hold forever? This is a lot. This is a lot. It's, it's a motherfucking bitch. Hold on. How many damn cards is this bitch? Bitch, bitch. Oh, yep, two men. 
the, pink, the king of pentacles and the king of cups. The fool, the nine of cups, the ace of pentacles, the nine of wands. Okay. So, before you weren't able to make a decision, now you see what choices it is that you have to make. The seven of swords. Like I said, you understand this is a tricky situation and you need to be adaptable. You need to be quick with it. You know that this situation can erupt in violence easily. Um, I've picked up on domestic abuse in Taurus readings before. I, I really do get the energy that y'all been dealing with an alcoholic, someone that drinks a lot or has some type of substance abuse issues and it has a lot of past wounding. I don't know if this person grew up watching their mother get beat on or um, they're just an insecure creature and they take they it makes them feel good talking just a fucking mess that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna go into it i'm not gonna go into it but you already know that you kind of have to tread lightly with this individual because one false move one little wrong statement i just heard this person will go oops upside your head like it like you know it's just someone getting away and not caring if they're getting caught it's like it's like you kind of doing it sloppily a little bit you see what i'm saying you kind of doing it sloppily you're doing it sloppily because you got to move quick you know and to some aspect it's like I'm going to try to talk this out with this person and let them know, you know, I'm going to pour love into this and let them know it. this is not good for either one of us to continue going on this way. So I'm doing what's best for the both of us. But with this strength in reverse, it's like, you know that this person is like a weak individual. Like, they are very codependent on you. And it's like a very toxic attachment here. And I felt the only reason why you haven't like really got up and moved and did the things that you needed to do and moved away to, in your heart, you know, is best for you is because you kind of always put their needs and things above your own because this person has issues and you don't feel like they're strong enough to take care of themselves. But just, and you're not this person's mother. You know what I'm saying? You're not this person's mother. And... Taurus is tired of not being able to see things clearly doing the best that the best decision for them what's best for them because you're focusing on the needs of other people and you don't want to get I, I really do feel like this is someone that's a little meant like a little mentally off like this motherfucker's a little off and they're very temperamental and very violent I just heard this person would be out to get you. It's like, if you don't walk away and make this person kind of feel like it was their decision, like you're going to outsmart and outwit this person and try to like, you know, like you're going to outwit this person a little bit. Because it's like, even if you get caught going away, you want to figure out a way to play some type of manipulation, some like mind manipulation on them to make them feel like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was their decision. Because there's a lot, I mean, listen, I really do feel like this person has issues. This person has some issues and they're not strong enough to take care of themselves on their own or something like that. What is this? The Knight of Swords. Um... If you guys have been thinking long and hard about this situation, I really do feel like it's been a nightmare. There's a lot of air energy here. Y'all could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, an Aquarius, um, what is it, a Libra. Y'all could most definitely be dealing with someone that's very, like they think they're smart, but they're really not as smart as they think they are. Because there's a lot of reverse sword cards. Um, this person uses 
their words. I feel like they're very cutting with their words. It's a lot of verbal abuse. And, I, you know, I'm not even going to hold you. I mean, it was physical abuse, too. Like, you went to bed crying many a days. And you weren't strong enough to leave them because you put their needs before your own. And you're scared that if you got caught that this person would beat you or mistreat you or something like that. You got two male energies here. So this is definitely a female that's doing this, that's making this transition. You got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. You got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. So one of these men, we got the King of Cups here. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one that's sitting in this bed of water. Remember, what's this one? What's the mutable water signs? Mutable, what's the what's the mutable water sign? Is that cancer? I want to say that's fucking cancer. Ruled by the moon. Yeah, that's cancer. That's the crab. That is most definitely the crab. So, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know that all off the top of my head. I'm learning. So, y'all work with me. But you see how these waters are like a little turbulent here. The same way how this water is turbulent here you gotta tread lightly with this person because this person could wake up good in the morning but by one little switch, flip of the switch this person can go ape shit bonkers and is having a complete emotional meltdown mood swings um <laughs> depending on if they're drinking or not or if they on whatever substance that they be taking like this person can have very extreme highs and very extreme lows like almost bipolar like almost bipolar and with this right next to the it's, a, it's been a nightmare it's been an absolute nightmare with this person it's the mood swings it's the mood swings like you always felt like you were walking on eggshells with water and I feel like this Taurus felt like you know Tauruses are very nurturing people they work very very hard they very very hard you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day you need someone that's like you baby the king of Pentacles. you can't live your life and keep sacrificing yourself trying to cater to this motherfuckers emotions listen you see this ship right here that ship is sailed that ship has sailed the way that you go in that ship. And here you are leaving this person on a boat of their own, on their own little island to deal with their own emotions. You don't got in that ship and you done moved on. And where you move? Look, didn't I tell y'all y'all was going from one situation right into the other? Here go your ex. And then you go on that boat floating right into the next. You need stable ground. You can't continue to be on this rocky emotional fucking whirlwind with this idiot if y'all were dealing with a cancer y'all confirm that for because i'm not getting no other sign but a fucking cancer or nah i'm not getting a pisces i'm getting cancer i'm most definitely getting cancer i'm getting a cancer and even though this is the king of cups but he got a fish around his neck. But I'm still, I, I just feel like this person be always fishing though. I feel like this person is always fishing for something new. This person is emotional wreck. I feel like this person gets, and you see, look, like to keep their feet wet. Like to keep their feet wet. Even though it's their tail, they, oh, they got their tail dipped in that water. It's like, this is the king of cups, but he's sitting there with a wand. And I'm hearing in my head, I got the magic stick. If I could something to hit once, I could hit twice. This person always had their feet in something getting wet. Always fishing. I feel like this person fishes for new bait to keep them emotionally confident or something like that. This person isn't as in control in their emotions as they would like people to believe. You know what I'm saying? 
Not at all. Not at all. I feel like there's a lot of water in this person's chart. Like, if you was to pull this person's birth chart, it's like a lot of water in their chart. Even though they got a cup, they got a wand too. This is the king of cups, but he think he the king of wands. But you can't be no king of wands. Because it's like, this person don't know how to act. This person don't know how to keep their placement because... One minute their emotions is up and one minute is down. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying this person is bipolar, but mm -mm. this person needs a lot of people constantly pouring into their cup for them to feel confident. You understand what I'm saying? I really do feel like this person is a cheater. And because of their drinking issues and them, even though they're not a king of wands, trying to act like they're a king of wands and stuff like that, like... I don't I don't I don't get a good sense that they really know who they are. Like they pretend to be something that they're not and they change their personality based on whoever they're dealing with. Every person that they're with, they it's a different side of them. Like they don't even like they 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 fake and play different roles with all these different individuals. They don't even know who they are. Like they are so fake. A king of cups with a wand in his hand. How does that make any sense? Let me not try to go to... Let, let me not. Let me not. But you got this king of pence right here. I feel like this is a Capricorn. Y'all got the king of pentacles right here. This one has grown... And I mean grown into the man that he is. This one works extremely hard. This is a family man. Um, this one wants children. This one always keep kept their, their feet wet with other people. They ain't want no children. This person was just too busy with getting their cup full in multiple places. Being this king of cups trying to act like the king of wands. You know what I'm saying? And all of these people that they're dealing with, they have no idea about these mood swings and stuff. And they can't never, like they always got a lot of side pieces, but they can't keep them because as soon as people be seeing this mood swing shit, they, they can't never keep nobody. But you've been around for forever. You know what I'm saying? And you've just been putting up with it because for some reason, because this person's mental stability is like, you felt like you could fix them or this person needed you or some way like you felt like I don't know what you felt you were doing but you found someone that's just like you the work that you were putting into him this one puts into you this one wants to create a family with you this one don't have no problem giving you his time and shit even giving you his money too this one kept you emotionally bankrupt and confused and you know mentally exhausted and tired this one allows you to tell you about all of the stuff that they're going through and they build you up listen this is a builder a builder this one builds you up every day every time you come to work or every time you see this person and you say this person builds you up every day did you eat this morning what time did you go to bed Man, da da da, this and this and that happened, and this motherfucker slapped me, and I've only had like four hours of sleep, and I went to bed crying and all of this shit. Like, it's te it's taking everything within this. Oh, cause this one's a fighter. Like this one, I feel like you've had to talk this one down from approaching your boyfriend or whoever this is in your past, cause this one wanted to fuck him up. Because it's like, you bitch ass nigga, you don't hit no woman. You don't take your emotional bullshit. You need to fix yourself. Like, you need to fix yourself. You don't take it. It's like this person. Hmm. And this person stuck around for you because they, they were. They are waiting for the day that they can approach this one. I'm telling you. You see this person got a castle behind them. Like this person is like 
a manager or on high CEO level. They might own a franchise or like I said, they might own their own construction business. Like this person builds dynasties like dead ass. This person is not hurting for a coin at all. This person lived off of your coin. And that's another reason why you were not just about to get up and leave this person. Because it's like if I get up and leave this person, this person going to have to take care of themselves. Now, this motherfucker always got their foot out in the street and got all these bitches. But where your money at? <laughs> like, where your money at? You got a whole bunch of bitches. You fucking all these bitches fucking up shit with me. But these bitches ain't willing to take care of you. If I was to leave you right now, you had to go back to your mother's house. And she don't even want to fuck with you. Because <laughs> of your drinking, your drugging, and your fucking mood swings. Don't nobody want to deal with that shit. This person's own mother doesn't even want to deal with this person. And this person is too fucking grown to be acting like this. This is like someone going through... I don't even want to say that they're going through no fucking midlife crisis. Because they're not. They're just fucked up individuals. And I don't need the King of Cups to be in the reverse to tell me that. Like, I'm... I don't need the King of Cups to be in the reverse to tell me that. Like, you're no fool. You're no fool. You're no fool. You know it's time for you to take that risk. But you're just going about it smart. Because with this fool in the reverse next to this cup, this nine of cups in the reverse, you already know that you're already unhappy as it is, as the situation as it stands, being in between these two men, and you don't want to enrage this one because I really do feel like you getting up and leaving like that. You got to make them believe that it was their decision to break up with you. Like you, you're having to be slicker than the average bear. If you don't do this in a way... Which makes this person feel like it was their idea. They're going to try to make your life a living hell. Because this person, I'm trying to tell you, this person has substance abuse issues with this nine of cups in reverse. You understand what I'm saying? And this is going to be a situation where, where you're wishing for this freedom and abundance this person is going to see to it that that wish isn't granted in your life. And it's like you're no fool. You are no fool. You know exactly what this person is going to try to do because they've done it before. Matter of fact, they've done it every time that you've tried to leave them. And that's why you haven't gone anywhere. That's why you haven't gone anywhere. So this is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse right here. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse means a lot of things, but it don't mean that your new beginning, your solid, new, prosperous, abundant, beginning it don't mean it ain't gonna come to you it just means it's a fucking delay and pinnacles mean planning it's time for you to go back to the planning board it's time for you to go back to the planning board you need to re-strategize okay you need to look at all of the cards on the table and you need to deal with things accordingly based off of you know how this person is you know, because he is like, man, I just beat this motherfucker ass. Like, where he at? And it's like, no, 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 no. That, no, we not, we not stupid to that level. We about to do this like this. So, I'm getting my freedom. And abundance is mine. But I'm, I, I need to pour a little love into the situation. I got to tread lightly with this one. Because I don't want this mother, because like, this, this is this person... Uh uh, it's like they give me the energy like they might try to hurt themselves or hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Like this motherfucker might try to hurt themselves either by drinking too much. Um, I feel like this person drinks and drives a lot too. And that's another thing that you always worried about. Like this motherfucker always be drunk and hopping behind a car. Like you just don't want to leave this person. And then this person going to one of their fucking drinking and drug binges and shit. And next thing you know, that you end up finding out this motherfucker dead. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're putting a lot on yourself. 
you're putting a lot on yourself. You're putting a lot of this responsibility of this person's emotional instability and drama and chaos. You're putting a lot of it on you as if it's your responsibility. And that's why that strength is in a reverse because that person's failure to plan and prioritize in their life is not a is not a responsibility or priority of yours. You know what I'm saying? Them not getting having their life together, them not doing what they need to that's not a priority of yours to fix this person or worry about this shit. Like I'm sorry. Um you realize that you would love to put your guard down and just grab your freedom your freedom and your abundance and just pick your shit up and just walk away and without a care in the world but you realize that this is a battle that has yet to be fought and even though you're tired you know what I'm saying tired you might have to pick up your you might gotta pick up your battle stick and fight one more game but this one is gonna be for the last time do you understand what I'm saying cause you're not gonna be keep walking around holding back your blessings feeling like you guarding and protecting yourself from this idiot like you're not going to do it I was told to go ahead first let's go to love it says trust trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform Trust yourself. Like you, you know what you're doing and why you're doing things the way that you're doing it. It says, "Don't make decisions based off of guilt or what you think you should do." But it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Now, goddamn, can you hear me now? I'm gonna read that one more time. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. You have to honor yourself. Don't continue to hold yourself back and not do what you need to do because you got guilt in your heart or you think you're doing the right thing for them. Do what the fuck you need to do for you. Transformation comes through appreciation and acceptance of what you currently have I might not have it all together, but one thing I know I do have, I got somebody waiting for me that deserves my love and that deserves my attention. And I am not going to continue. Because, like, what if this person gets tired of you playing games with them but walks away, baby? Mm, it says, this says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That's him. Like, that's him, girl. That is that king of fucking pinnacles. You're the queen of pinnacles. Like, you you found someone that loves just like you. Finally. This person got their own. They don't need nothing from you. They not trying to live up off of you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give me guidance for my Taurus. In this situation, tell me about October. The King of Hearts. Yeah, this new person loves you. They are very romantic. They are very given emotionally to you. It's no question in your heart and in your mind, in your body or soul, where you stand in this person's life. Boy, I'm seeing butterflies. There go that two of spades. There go that ugly fucking <laughs> little. Mm. The th yeah, it's definitely a third party situation. But. This is you moving forward. This is you moving forward. This is you getting spiritual help to help you make a, 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 a brash decision. You know? You see that uh, window pane? Don't they look like a church window pane? 
I don't know. Do y'all go to church? I feel like, I don't know, when y'all go to church, like, you feel like pastor being there reading your life. You be in church crying like a motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody be like, you okay? You be like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, bitch, like, seriously, like, your pastor been in there reading your life down. Okay? Reading your life down on shit. Even right now, me doing these cards, like, it's like God got to be talking to her. Because she is telling my life right now. You know what I'm saying? You're getting spiritual guidance and it's teaching you what you need to do to move towards the blessings. Listen, that's a wedding chapel. This is wedding. You understand what I'm saying? You, your new man, and the hierophant going in church. You making the right actions and the right decisions in your life with this king of hearts. I'm trying to tell y'all it's going result in marriage like I'm trying to tell you y'all are headed to the wedding chapel and then also look at all of the stuff around the card all of this and look at that this is someone getting help from a third party so that they can make forward actions in their life that is better really for all parties involved you know what i'm saying and i believe the other card said something when i was reading the moon cards it said like if every if you can move forward with everyone being healed the cert the situation will work for everybody you know what i'm saying so i understand why you're doing what you're doing the way that you're doing it but i i i'm this is this is a car of violence, of arguing, of a disgruntled employee. I was like, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a card of like a duel, a showdown with this ugly beast. Look at this motherfucker. You're not even attracted to this person anymore. Like you used to be attracted to this person until you seen what a true man is. What a true man is. Oh my goodness, like, this person, I don't feel like they're going to let you go without a fight. And this is my bad hygiene card. I don't know why when I get this card out of this deck, look, their feet is crusty. Look, do you see this person's feet? You see this person's feet? Like, this person be coming home, their feet be stinking all of the time. Like, this person is, like, I think this person is, like, real skinny. Like, their hair be looking disheveled and stuff like that sometimes. It's like, when they have their shit done, they can look decent and everything like that. But when they be looking bummy, like, they be looking bummy. Like, you might gotta remind this motherfucker to take a shower and shit. Like, they always mean, always... It's always something emotionally wrong with this motherfucker. Always. Give me one more card, Father God. Give me. Tell me how things about to run down with this um this two of this two of spades. I'm sorry, y'all. This is gonna be a long video. Cause I feel like y'all need this attention. Yeah, the four. Oh, the seven of spades. Yo, when I'm. Yo. 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 I, I, I feel like. Okay. This is you running towards a solid like okay so the four the four clubs the four clubs is a solid business investment you know what i'm saying like a strong work environment like you having like a a, a, a work promotion like you just got a new office um this represents like an office somewhere where you do your business and you do your work and stuff like that um like success and work, work recognition and things like that. Um, you you are in a good place. Like in work, you you find security. You know what I'm saying in your job, 
and like you might be working on like a lot of overtime and i'm trying to tell you i really do feel like y'all work with this person um you <laughs> this and then this person you see how it's like all these little all these dogs this person how many dogs is it one two three four I feel like y'all might have had seven, I mean, mm, several different occurrences where this person has cheated on you. I want to say that there's been about four mistresses, about four of them. And as you were trying to, this is the tower card. So you having this transition in this, in this work life of yours, you are... It's, it's going to result into arguments, into a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is not going to like the way shit is going for them and for you. Okay? I feel like you... This person feels like you put them down because of their job and their occupation. I feel like you make more money than them. And that's another reason why this person is insecure and acts the way that they act towards you. Because... You make more money than them. I believe that you pay more of the bills. They're insecure about that. So they feel like if they talk shit to you and beat you down and make you feel like you're not shit, it makes them feel better about their self and their position in life. You progressing in this work situation and you always at work and all of this stuff like that, I feel like you not going to be coming home no more. You'll be like, oh, no, I got to work. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do that. And... I just heard you going to tell this person you got to move because of work. You, it's like you're going to tell them something. You're running away. Like you're always going to work. You're always saying that you're going to work or something like that. But you don't be at work. You be with this other person. And you're leaving this person for someone at work. That you have a more solid situation. They don't see this coming. They don't see this coming. And I told you that this goddamn... Didn't I tell you that, 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 that this king of um, pence, this king of pentacles, that they were waiting. They're waiting for this person to put their hands on you or to do any fucking thing of any type of harm to you. Because I told you that they're going to whoop their ass. Number one, you have said... Look at all those dogs that this person has captive. Like, this person likes to collect other people... To fill up their cup. To fill up their self esteem. Like. It's like. They. Are not emotionally filled on their own. With their own achievements and stuff like that. So they like to have a collection of different women. Or a collection of different men. Or shit. A collection of different men and women. Who fucking knows. Um, they. Find their. Emotional secure, security. Security. Based on how many people that they can keep captive and like under their wing. To, you know what I'm saying? So it's like this person is like, hold on, you little bitch. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Don't you got all these little, these little ho ass, you know what I'm saying? Like you got several different things that you already got captive, that you already got control of, that jump to your beck and call. You don't need to come this way. You don't own her. You understand what I'm saying? You don't run. The, I don't know where. To, you, you might run thing with these little dogs. Okay. That let you dog them out. And let you control them. You don't run anything over here anymore. So go and sit your ass back down. And go play fetch over there with your little dogs. You, look, the other little bitches that. Ain't that what they call? Don't they call female dogs bitches? With your other bitches. Okay. That you got captive in your bullshit. Go and play with them. You already got four other bitches. You being greedy. This one wants to get away from you. Let her go. Or you want to have a problem with me. So what you want to do? Because I'm a real man. I ain't no bitch ass nigga like you always crying and look hiding up under women and shit for protection and shit. What you going to sick your little bitches on me? I'm trying to tell you this motherfucker has met a real man. A real man. Hmm. <laughs>
Y'all, let's let me let me clarify this for y'all, cause y'all y'all don't y'all probably think I'm playing with you, and I'm not playing with you. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not playing with you. The two of spades traditionally a card of conflict, of disagreements, betrayal, arguments, anger, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence. I told you this person is violent. Bad news, removal, separation, something sharp, something pointed. Look. <laughs> Something sharp, something pointed. I'm trying to tell you these, your old man, your new dude, will be confronting them. Especially if this motherfucker think that they about to put their hands on you. Oh, baby boy, your new, your, your new baby? <laughs> He's like, uh-uh, you get your shit and you come on downstairs. Oh, this bitch ain't see this shit coming. This is going to be a shock to them. Because you see, they normally keep little bitches captive you see how many little bitches did it and, and, and you know that this person got these other little side bitches you know this shit this is real man he said you deserve more than that for a matter of fact let me call my dude let me call listen they don't call one of their boys to come with them to come and fuck you up too oh you want to beat on women you want to do that yeah come fight some real men boy i am i swear on my life I swear on my life, I'm not playing. Let me read y'all this seven of spades. Seven of spades. Traditionally a card of bad luck and loss. Unexpected trouble. I told you the tower card. A mishap. An unhappy surprise. A serious setback. A reversal of plans. Frustration. A lack of progress. A stalemate. Stagnation. Addiction. Drugs. Medication. Alcohol. Codependent relationships. A cocktail. A nightclub. A bar saloon. Bitch, did I tell you? I told you. Didn't I tell you? I said that shit way before this shit even came out. I told you. I told you. And look at, look. Always out there collecting little hoe ass bitches. Little, little easy, easy to had ass. Half breed ass dogs. These bitches ain't even half of what the fuck you was as a woman, as a queen. Your new, oh, your, look, your new guy, he done called his friends. Say, come with me over this motherfucker just in case I got to beat this shit out, this little punk bitch ass nigga. Look, let me try to tell you something. He not about to play about his queen. Listen, this king of hearts say, you're mine. I'm tired of sitting here seeing you being mistreated and beat it on by this man. He will not put his hands on you no motherfucker more. And that's a fucking promise. That's a promise. Listen, the four, four clubs. Stability in a business matter. Oh, this is business. This is man business. And that's why your new guy, this king of pinnacles, is like, no, you let a man deal with a man. You don't say nothing to him. I got you. You let a man deal with a man. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It says stability in business, reliable social contacts. Practical foundation, stable conditions, laying the foundation for future progress, stable business environment, using good business sense, the four walls of a building or a room, the four legs of a table, a work table or a social table, a four wheeled vehicle. I told you you're moving a coach, a car, a truck, a cart, a baby carriage. Oop. <laughs> I already told y'all, y'all know King of Pentacles is all about family, uh, a trip by a car, a verbal communication, a telephone call, a voice message, and a video chat. I t didn't, I, didn't, didn't I tell you, your little boo-boo from work, said, uh-uh. clubs practical development in business and social matters expanding opportunities growth advancement the use of common sense and good judgment a developing business enterprise a three-way deal or partnership a build a, a business collaboration with three or more people did not listen you see these are your friends at work this is your this is your dude that you talk to and this is y'all's friend your friend Y'all other friend at work that already know about everything that's been going on. This his homeboy from work, and he fuck with you too. Like y'all are all friends. God, God. Ooh, ooh, it's some juicy shit, y'all. 
Oh my God. It says a clover leaf, a good luck, fortunate circumstances, something growing, plans, hair, nails, increasing understanding or expanding one's knowledge based on learning new things. It can represent formal training or self -edif edification. Y'all. Boy, look, can the real man stand up? Whoa. I told y'all, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make this video longer than the rest, but I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all about to be blessed. Y'all do not have to ever worry about crying or this person lying to you, this person bringing you any type of strife, nothing in your life anymore. You got a real man, a real man, a real man. You won't have no emo girl, a brilliant idea. <laughs> oh, Archangel Uriel says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring your idea into fruition. Girl, it is your fucking world. It is your world. Give me one more. Ooh, what is this? Spread your wings. It is time to spread your wings towards new blessings. Listen, it says... Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. And you are ready to soar. Come on. Let him come on in and save you. This one will not enslave you no more. We will not do it. What is it saying? Outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature, and relieve your stress and gain new creative ideas. Listen, your new dude is set. I'm going to tell you, grab your shit and go outside. I got this. Oh, this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Grab your shit and go outside. Grab your shit and go outside, girl. Let a man hand. Let 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 a man deal with a man. <laughs> ooh, wee. Ooh, 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 wee. He. Two more spreads, y'all, and we about to here. Oh, yo, I, 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 I'm gonna have to give y'all some guidance from the um from the the tarot dice give me guidance clarify this please clarify brilliant ideas spread your wings in the outdoors what is this the sun bitch the sun baby happiness joy faith pregnancy pregnancy y'all what I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you, fuck, I am trying to fucking tell you, I'm trying to tell you the best days of your life have yet to be had, have yet to be glad. Please be glad that you are finally seeing, seeing the truth. Seeing that there's a better way, that there's a better day, that you don't have to go through this shit no more, baby. <laughs> May the real man stands up. The real man stands up. You got any more for me, spirit? Miss that? Anything else? Or you just want the sun? Okay. That's good. That's good. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. The sun. Illumination, freedom, prosperity, abundance, happiness, joy, faith, renewal, rebirth, birth. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all got to know that this man is about to marry y'all and y'all about to have babies. Not a baby, but babies. This one wants a family. He's the fucking king of pentacles. His whole thing is about having the... A happy, a luxurious, and happy home environment. And trust me, it is, it is, it is making him feel so good that he could take you out of this. Oh my gosh. Intuition. Focus on what you're feeling, baby, and know that it is real. Know that everything that God has been sending you intuitively about this man. And when this man said, I'm going to protect you. You better listen to that man. He said, go to the car. Go to the car. Let me deal with this bitch. 
go to the car. Mm-mm. I, and I just heard that he don't even want you to work no more. He don't even want you to work no more. He about to get you pregnant and he wants you to sit at home and enjoy the rest of your life being a fucking queen. Like he really wants you to focus on whatever this brilliant idea is. It's like y'all are creative. Like y'all make crafts and shit. I heard y'all make clothes. Like y'all design clothes. Y'all, y'all, it's something in beauty. Beauty and fashion. Like that's what you want. He wants you to do that shit. Physical activity. There's going to be some physical. I'm trying to tell you, like there's going to be a fight. There's going to music, music, music. Hmm. I just heard it's going to be a new sound. I'm hearing wedding bells and motherfucking baby crying and shit like that. And didn't one of them things say baby carriages or some shit? I could have sworn it did. I could have sworn it did. But there's going to be a new sound of music in your life, honey. A new tune. Your life is being, is moving to a brand new tune. Oh, physical activity, though. There's going to be a fight. It's, it's, it's like literally going to be a fist fight. It is. And you got to let men be men. And you just got to stay out of the way. You got to stay out of the way. Because this bitch ass nigga thought he was a man with his feet all of the time. When he was mistreating you and cheating on you and shit like that. So he want to it make him feel like a man beating on women and doing shit. Okay, so when a man come in there and come and beat his motherfucking ass. You understand what I'm saying? He should be prepared and be ready and willing to fight. He likes to fight and, that, and it makes him feel like a man. So good. Fight a man. Give me guidance. Clarify intuition, please. Intuition, page of cups. This is a brand new offer in love. This is a brand new offer in love. Follow your intuition, baby. This is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles represents balance, stability. You know what I'm saying? It also represents to me the infinity ring. You understand? Like, it's typically when you see the two of pentacles, you normally see that infinity ring. You know what I'm saying? This is something stable. Something stable. Okay? And then you got the goddamn... The king of cups. The fucking king of cups. The king of cups. I told you that there's going to be some physical activity with this king of cups. There's going to be some physical activity with this one. Okay? So all that beating and mistreating and all of that bullshit that this motherfucker was doing. Oh, trust and believe. You want to fight motherfuckers? Oh, they're going to be fighting someone in October. They're going to be fighting someone in October. peek a -boo, bitch. peek a motherfucking boo It's you, motherfucker. It's you. Okay? It is most definitely you. Follow your intuition and accept this new invitation and love. Okay, this you want to be moving to a brand new beat of a brand new drum with this music, y'all. Um, it's gonna be a whole new sound, a whole new sound of wedding bells and and and, and baby crying like dead ass serious. Give me one for give me one for um the sun. Give me one for the sun. Let me give me one extra shit. We already went over. What is this? The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is literally someone, someone understanding that this situation, this is Six of Cups in reverse, mind you. This is the Six of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like this person that you are leaving and things are ending with, this is, you have like a deep rooted bond and connection because y'all have a long history with each other. Y'all might have known each other from childhood or something like that. Um, and, and this is someone that has childhood wounding. Do you understand this person that y'all were with? Okay. So if you didn't know something, excuse me, something 
happened to this person when they were younger. That has nothing to do with you. And just because this person went through some type of childhood trauma or whatever the hell happened in their life, that doesn't mean that you have to be trapped and victimized to their wounding. You know what I'm saying? So whatever issues that you were holding on to and why you felt like you needed to nurture and take care of them and you put your, put up with the abuse, you need to work harder to let that go. Use your intuition when new love is coming to you. This is new love. New love. Brand new love. You can start all over. You know what I'm saying? So I want you to look at the truth. Look at the truth, baby. Don't hold yourself back no more. I want you to get over the past and allow this happiness to come into your life. Um, Because your past does not represent your future. You know what I'm saying? It does not represent your future. Freedom and abundance is coming to y'all. Listen, Taurus, they will not ignore us. Damn no, not today. Oh, no. Because your new man ain't come to play, y'all. Listen, Papa got a brand new bag. So, I love you guys. I love you guys. Brail. <laughs> Brail. Let me stop. Because I... Let me stop. What is this? This is, is this the fucking, okay, anyway, I'm gone, bitch. I'm not going to keep reading. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, but that was a good message right there. Y'all just know that that was a good message. If y'all want to read and shit, y'all want to read, <laughs> y'all call me because I'm about to, I was about to do too much. I, I, look, I'm about to get, look. This almost been like a motherfucking personal reading for y'all. Listen, but when y'all get personal readings, it goes just like this. All this time and this energy and how we going to break shit down and get into things. This is exactly what you're going to get. So, listen, if y'all want quality, y'all come follow me. I love y'all. Love yourself. Be in good health. And when that man tell you to get your ass in the car and let a man deal with a, with a man, get your ass in the car. All right? Let him take care of it for you. I got you. Peace. Hit that like button.